What's good everybody, SG Scouts here. We're taking a look at Kair Elam, a prospect who I think he's becoming very underrated at this point. He's been overshadowed by Gardner and Stingley, but I think he is a serious playmaker. But before we get into it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of Elam in the comments, and also let me know which player you want to see in the next video. It's almost the draft, we're about a month away, so expect a lot more content coming soon. And without further ado, let's get right into it. First play we have him here, lined up bottom of the screen, press coverage against Jamison Williams. And Jamison's going to give him a pretty weak release, and you can't give weak releases versus Elam. He's just got some long arms, he's way too physical for that, and he doesn't play around. So you're going to see he's going to dominate early. He jams receivers really well in press coverage, and that's why I think he's definitely a press guy. Jam him up, long arms there, lands in the chest, and then keeps that other arm on the shoulder. While keeping his eyes on the hips there, plays through the, the route and the receiver and makes a play on the ball. An underrated part of his game I think is the ball skills, it might be the best in the class honestly. Now although he's a very competent corner in press, I think the thing that separates Stingley and Gardner from him is just their nuance and polish in coverage. I think the thing with Elam is he does get a little grabby sometimes as routes develop, especially if he can't get hands on early. You see the receiver lines up a bit behind the line of scrimmage, creating some more distance uh, off the snap, making it harder for Elam to get his hands on him. And as that route comes downfield, Elam's going to have his hand on the shoulder. And he's just not as strong as Gardner or as nuanced with his footwork as Stingley, which is where that small gap um, in their value comes from. But still a great corner in press. You'll see here. Doesn't land the hands and then the hand on the shoulder. He's there, but... He just can't be holding the shoulder for that long. And I think that's something, it's not a big red flag, it's something I can work on and something that I think with more reps, he'll just get better at with the uh, hand fighting downfield. He is susceptible to quick releases, but the length and speed that he has helps him recover. And he also has a good feeling for routes and timing. As you'll see here, John Chi there gets under the arms, but Elam predicts that break right there. And you see his eyes shoot up as soon as the ball comes out and he's ready there you know although he gets beat off the release it seems like no matter what you know when when the pass comes to his receiver it's always tight coverage and that's a good thing to see um i think throughout my whole film session you know i never saw a receiver get wide open on him so that's just an important thing to note he always keeps that coverage tight here long third down florida's in this cover four elam in off coverage and this bam receiver here weak side of the screen He's going to be running a sticks route and Elam, he's got to protect the deep part of the field, but also is responsible for that first down. So you're going to see the kind of transition quickness that he has as soon as he sees that receiver's route stop. He's very quick to get there and also has the length dropped. Again, has amazing ball skills. Receiver gets there. This is an open pass, but Elam with that length just gets in there and makes an amazing play on the ball. In the NFL, he's going to be put into matchups that are favorable for him. You know, he likes to play outside and press. But here we got him inside versus a fast receiver. He's playing off. You know, not exactly the position that he wants to be in. But it's important to be versatile if you want to play in the next level. And Elam shows on this play that he is versatile and is resilient in these tough situations. Receiver is basically running a deep post. And Elam is going to get beat uh, off the bat here. But he has the recovery speed. And the amazing ball skills somehow locates this while running full speed down the field and makes a play on the ball. Absolutely ridiculous play. And this is one of the reasons why I think he has he possibly might have the best ball skills in the class. Just ridiculous to do that at full speed. And right there, you know, made something out of a, a tough situation. As far as tackling goes, I mean, he's all right. Probably will be average for an NFL cornerback. You know, he has the willingness to do it. And he has some strength to him. But, you know, he does duck his head and not really a guy I would depend on to make tackles in the open field, especially against a running back like Brian Robinson. You see there, whiffs on that tackle, you know, overplayed it and should have probably taken a better angle as well. Here's another play where he shows off the ball skills, pressed up on the inside. Receiver is going to be running a deep route, but quarterback scrambles out, so he adjusts and it turns into more of like a comeback. Back to the quarterback, Elam off the bat, hits him with the two-hand press. Not the strongest, 
knocks him off a bit but still in the receiver's pocket there the whole time close distance and you see there at the end just that ability to locate the ball is just crazy and makes a play there knocks it out an incomplete pass i mean he just stays feisty throughout the entire out i to get my final thoughts on payer elam and summarize what we learned in today's video i think he's got nfl size nfl athleticism i think he can definitely be a starter and develop into a quality starter what stands out about his game is his ability to anticipate breaks and those ball skills man he just creates a lot of pass deflections he locates the ball so quickly really at a, an elite level and i think that's one of those skills that is going to translate well into the nfl um as far as his weaknesses tackling you know not the best it's whatever i think there's some small things you know he gets handsy can sometimes be a little off balance off the snap in his press coverage and i'd like to see him also get probably a little bit stronger to play his style at the next level and but besides that i think he's just solid all around i think he's good in off coverage i think press is definitely his bread and butter um and i think he'll be successful off the bat and i think he'll you know slowly develop throughout his career hopefully gets you know chosen by a good defense and you know a team that can develop him well but those are my thoughts on him i think he's a quality starter i think he's a first round pick um you guys let me know what you think of him in the comments and also let me know which player you want to see in the next video and that's all for me for today i'm out